So in this clip I want to show you how to record little online video clips which you can use on your Blackboard site. So first I'll do a few technical things and I'll say a little bit about the motivation. I'll try and keep this as short as possible. You can always ask me if you have any further questions. So. What you need to use is the latest uh, Dell tablet which we have in our arsenal. Uh, Len has the key to the cupboard. Noel also has a key to the cupboard so you can ask them and borrow it. It's usually there, it's not used that often. Uh, if it's gone, it's gone for lecture and we'll be back quickly. So on the desktop there I have a little folder online clips. Okay, and if you double click on this you uh, can see a oh, I don't want to change the color scheme you can see two important links uh, Camtasia Studio that's going to be the screen recording software so it's just a shortcut to the software and a blank canvas so you can use that to uh, as the file where you do your writing now when you create a new recording what you should do is you should create a folder uh, in which you put all the stuff you need and all the saved files so later you can just uh, move that folder to your USB stick or to your Dropbox box or whatever you use and then leave this folder as uncluttered as possible so it would be good if you take your stuff off afterwards so let me first open the blank canvas I'll just say cancel here this is uh, for instance Microsoft OneNote it always has these at least how I do it the, this general thing here you can create a new sheet if you go to new section you can save it possibly the best thing to do now is for me to just uh, save this empire entire notebook in my folder now at this stage uh, I should tell you when you later write what I'll do do handwriting on this sheet on this tablet you can determine whether the tablet recognizes both your finger touch uh, and or your pen it's possibly when you do the pen the writing it's possibly best to choose pen only you can make this disappear up here again otherwise sometimes if you have your hand on it it may recognize this as a touch now if you have pen only and uh, you have flipped the the laptop such that the screen sits on the keyboard you can write things by clicking on this little keyboard and it's a bit like writing on the phone you don't want to write lots of things and long text with it but for just little things like file names it's perfectly okay so now we have the file we can uh, we can write here it's supposed to be easiest if you go to draw uh, you can uh, now just write here with with different with different colors now but what I want to do and I can just I can just undo these things so what should you prepare before you do a video? Now sometimes you want to import certain printed things from a PDF file for instance like for instance uh, I used uh, tables for the normal distribution or perhaps formula which are long and complicated and you don't want to handwrite them so make sure you have PDF files which you may want to use open okay so that you want to make sure so let me just do this quickly because I do indeed want to demonstrate how to do that yes a PDF and I use a particular file so I just use that file as not nothing really of interest in here it's just a PDF file to demonstrate so that you want to have so you want to have your folder created and you should have thought about what you want to cover
what to cover in your little video clip. Then you also need to think about how to present the video clip to students. Now, in, in the last year, I created flash videos and put them up onto a university media server. The problem with that is that not, especially not all Apple devices uh, do like flash and um, since Apple is very popular that means you're excluding some students from using their preferred method of you know looking at online stuff. So what I now decided to do I upload everything to YouTube. For that you need a YouTube account. YouTube account. So I decided to do that and then in uh, on Blackboard I just link to the YouTube page uh, to the YouTube video which is very easy. An alternative to that is indeed as I as I said is to um, create uh, create flash videos um, flash videos and upload them to a humanity server. Now, if you want to do that, I can show you how to do that, but you'll have to talk to me. I won't show that here. I only show the YouTube account. And the reason is really to make it as universal, to make the video as universally viewable as possible. So, I think that's, that's all you need. Okay, so, let's say, let me just move a little bit for, further down and make this disappear. Now the good thing about this OneNote, Microsoft OneNote, is you can extend your file because you don't want new pages all the time. This little symbol here on the bottom right and that will just increase your file. So what you need to do next is the following and now I need to explain this a little bit because it's a bit awkward. I can't record recording. Okay, So you need to go to the software Camtasia Studio. You do that, it's uploaded here already, but um, as I said before, in online clips I've got a link. So just double click that link or go from the start as Camtasia Recorder. Uh, just click on this and you will end up on that screen. What you do next is you say record screen and then click on record screen. Actually, I don't know what's going to happen now. I wonder what it has done. Has it stopped my recording? No, I think no, my recording is still running, okay? Uh you can see you can see that here. Anyway, if you click that, you then find this little window and to start a recording, you then need to press start. Now since it's running, I would have to press stop. But I think you will all be able to abstract from that little complication. Now once you press start, basically everything you do on the screen will be recorded. So for instance, uh, you can write the density of a normal distribution. Let's say y is normally distributed and um, then we can write down the density function. So the uh, my handwriting is actually normally pretty bad, okay? So this is not well, this is not much worse than my normal handwriting, but it does indeed need to get uh, a bit of getting used to writing on this on this tablet. As I said before, you can copy stuff from a PDF file. So if you open the PDF file, uh, you go to take a snapshot and now you can just highlight something. It will automatically copy whatever you've highlighted. You can go to your OneNote file. You need to go to, I think it is home to paste. And overcomes your uh, your little text. You can go back to draw, go to select, and then you can you can move it around uh, as you wish. Uh, I can go back to draws. So I could know if that made sense. Underline certain things. So you can 
as you can hopefully see, you can now, you know, sort of explain things. You can also, if you are uh, explaining certain models, it actually has this little, um, you can put coordinate systems up fairly easily and then just um, add your uh, consumption and have some sort of income sum uh, function. You can do whatever whatever you want and, and explain. So in my experience from last year doing this in econometrics, I used these a lot when I had quite complicated algebraic or statistical stuff where I knew that if I did it in the lecture, it was most likely too fast for the majority of students and if I did slower it was too slow for quite a lot of students. And I wanted to create something where students can look at the stuff in their in their own pace and if you have it on the video students can look a bit, can pause and, and think about it. So that's what I mainly used it for and I, I got really good feedback from students on it and I really appreciated it. Also used it to uh, do a few practice exams or a few questions on practice exams so they could see what I expected them to do in uh, in exams and that was much appreciated as well. So now let's say you're finished with your video. What you now want to do is you click on this little recording controller here and you press stop. So. I'll do this now and then I'll upload the, the video into Camtasia and then I start the recording again so you can see what I do there. So once you press the uh, stop button on that recording you will have gotten a, a screen which looks like this um, more or less. So this is actually now a screenshot not a recording and uh, the video would have started immediately playing and you can hear the sound and you basically have three options here save and edit, delete and, pro uh, delete and produce. Uh, forget about the produce option if you realize your video was rubbish click delete at this stage uh, and if you think that's right I'm going to work with this uh, save, press the save and edit button. Uh, I wonder when this decides to stop press the save and edit button. If you do so, what will actually happen is that this video will be automatically imported into Camtasia Studio. Now I deleted that already, but it will automatically appear here under a new project called Untitled Cam Project. Now in my case, since I deleted that before, what I need to do is I import media. And yeah, when you save as, uh, you you should save it in the folder which you created. So I saved that in the uh, in my recorder, and you can see that there's now a file here, Camtasia recorder document Ralph demo. I can now upload this. Now what will happen is you have that raw material. Right, it's like a videotape, okay, and then here in Camtasia Studio. We will create a project which will use that raw material but it will not destroy it so whatever you do in here you can't destroy that original original video now so here I create that project and I will give that a name and save it as well in the same folder I'll call it Ralph demo all right, uh, with a new name, say OK. All right, so what you now want to do is you want to, again, if you uh, if you did just press uh, Save as, what will basically happen is that this, uh, this video recording will, will appear down here on the timeline. So what you see here, Yes, I'll tell you in a minute what I did. Actually, when you do it, you will get this message as well. What size do you want your video to be? You can actually decide what sort of size you want it. Use the recommended for YouTube size. Okay. So, what what it has done basically, it just you have your video basically now on 
there you can you can watch what your video looks like by just playing here you can see a little time thingy moving the video will start so after a while in this clip i want to show you how to record little online and then video uh, clips you can possibly not hear that because i'm very on your earphones you can then hear what so is being done. First I'll do a few so technical things and I'll say just it. press stop. In this case, uh, for some reason I didn't copy it right at the beginning, so you can move this around and it will be right at the beginning. You could now, if you wanted to, if you click on more, you can... Is it on more? So I just had to check something since this is a new version. So let's say you uh, actually want to start with a little title at the beginning of the video so students know what to do. Uh, there are possibly several ways to do that. The easiest is to go to library. And you can see there's a bit of music in here, country music. I'm sure some of you will be keen to have in their video can click on one of the themes not on the music and that sort of titles basic title animated titles possibly best to just use an animated title so you just click track this down into a new track okay and here you can you can move that for instance at the beginning then if you click on this you get a little window where you can uh, just type what the name of the title what the name of the video should be this uh, so here we go and basically if you now play so in this you know, clip I want to show see you what how to will happen on little online on the screen video clips which so let's say this is all done stop this again let's say you've done everything just make sure you save your project so as I said this project just means it's an instruction of what elements to use and how to combine them. It doesn't change the original video. Now you need to, you know, bring it online, the video. How you do that is you go to produce and share. And now you're being asked what you want to do with it. And you, I would just say share to YouTube. The other options you can see here, you can produce MP4 files. Um, so I'll say share to YouTube it will now ask me for my YouTube username so you just make sure you enter it and your password and click next called record a clip how to use the department tablet to record a clip um, it is indeed how to I'll say public I'm actually not quite sure what the private is if you don't want to have it public but then I'm not quite sure how you can make people see it. I'll finish. Ah, at least one tag is required. Okay. okay, so and now it will work away. So this can take quite a while. Therefore, I'll stop the video here and. Um, come back once uh, it's finished. Once the upload to YouTube has finished, uh, you can so you can close that and you go to your YouTube account and on that 
that YouTube account if I uh, where do I need to go? I think video manager. That's it. So in here I can now see the clip which we created before. You can look at it. You see it's an HD clip, so the quality is really, uh, really quite good. So Although in this very clip often when you see I it first, show you how to it will actually show it in quite low quality. Video. So you can uh, you can change the quality video to high quality. Which so if you now basically want to make sure that so your students can see I'll that, a few you can share. I'll say a little bit about it will produce the link to, as short as to the video. Ask me uh, if in you fact, have any I think you can choose questions. here so the HD link. You could also what you choose need to use is the to latest point. Uh, Dell tablet which we have so in our arsenal. And once we've done that. Uh, once we've copied that, you go to Blackboard, um, for instance, build a web link. Test clip. So, and then watch this. Press submit. And if it should be right at the end. Uh, if you now click on this, that link will basically take you to the uh, to the video clip. So let's see where it actually did immediately go to the uh, HD. It didn't go to HD. So oh, yeah, it did. This okay, clip. it is. So if you look that. Watch this on the full screen. It's actually pretty I good quality. I want to show you how to record so, your online and uh, here we are done. Which you can use on your Blackboard site. So.